Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of War Robots Test Server. This is 2020, April 18th and 19th. Took many tries, but uh, finally got into this new map, Factory. Look at all the textures and lighting. It's there now. Uh, we're going to be testing here uh, the Ravana with the cryo weapons. Uh, nothing new there. Oh, look at that nice. Uh, is this a danger zone? Yep, you see? I'm losing health as I go through these uh, damaging areas. Okay, so there's nothing particularly new, cryo weapons and Ravana, but there's the there's the uh, overdrive unit which I've added on all robots. Everything's level eight, MK1 robot and uh, weapons. I'm gonna play rather aggressively so that you can see all the robots here. So that was the overdrive unit at a certain level of health. It doesn't say what. It will get an extra 20. 5% damage at a certain health level. Okay, so let's see if we can try to get the Titan charge, which is the Noden, uh, the healing Titan, which can also suppress, and has four beta weapons. Okay, so this also has the overdrive unit. And this has overdrive as well at a certain level of health. Doesn't say what. Extra 25% damage. Doesn't sound like a lot for a certain few seconds, depending on how leveled up you make it. So that back there was Spectre with uh, Pulsar. Nothing particularly new. Nothing particularly new um, other than the overdrive unit, the passive module on this Fenrir with. Avenger and Punisher uh, twin. So uh, nice textures and uh, and uh, paint and uh, textures here. There's some rebalance here. For instance, the Avenger unfortunately has been nerfed. More dispersion, less damage per round. Um, new mechanics, though, uh, of that of that Spectre versus Pulsar. Not new weapon, but a rebalancing. The mechanics are going to be the same as the energy shotguns, whereby uh, you saw it not freeze at random, but once it reaches a certain bar. Now we have something particularly new. Um, oh, by the way, the Ravana did get a buff, uh, less cool down time, less cool down time and uh, plus 10% durability. Now here we have uh, the Nucleon, new weapon here. It's a weapon that fires without reloading. Notice that as I fire more and more, the... Uh, Weapon goes from yellow to orange to red, and less and less damage gets done. Okay, and here's the uh, atomizer, which is not particularly new, but we have the we have the quarker, which is the the uh, light version of the atomizer, light version of the nucleon that was just used on the Aljun. So as, as you can see me fire, it gets more and more dispersed, and then the, the weapon needs to cool down before it gets more accurate. Okay. And then it goes from yellow to orange to red. You just have to let it rest and cool down. Oops, ran into the uh, dangerous lava or toxic pit. Oh, I didn't get to try the Nodens. All right, let's try another game. We can deploy the Nodens this time. Very fast match. 
Now, here we don't have the factory map, but that's okay. You, you, you've seen that already, just previously. So this is the canyon map. So Ravana got buffed in this rebalance. 10% more durability, a couple seconds less uh, cooldown time. Nice, so it uh, can uh, use its ability more often. Now, if you add one more phase shift, like I'm doing here, annoyingly, it sh it's also invincible, but cannot fire for a certain amount of time yet again. Okay, now I've fired all my rounds, I'm going to let it. Let it go into phase shift, get out of here, get out of danger. Oh, and the clouds have reloaded almost already. So that's the idea, is to waste the enemy's ability and to waste their round. Uh, they'll fire on you while no damage can be taken. Okay, going up to Titan Bar, we need more. The pulsars have the same effect of mechanics. Uh, rather than a random lockdown, you have to do a certain amount of strikes, depending on the weapon level, before it gets locked down. Okay, so you see that uh, lockdown bar go red, greater red. When it goes uh, all red, it, it can it about to get locked down. As it fills that red icon, it locks down the uh, falcon. So it's a more of a certainty rather than a random chance. I fill the bar, lock down again. This can get annoying for the enemy here. I keep locking, locking them over and over. Okay, Titan Bar is built, so let's deploy the Titan before this game ends. This is the Noden. You'll see there's a healing. It can heal more than one. So let's uh, let's uh, heal this. Uh, heal. So you can see a little beam here. You see that beam to the right? They're healing. Let's heal this person. And up to uh, one more. We can find another ally. We can heal for a certain amount of time. It doesn't say what distance factor, so that'll be interesting to know. I can suppress. I don't know if that required line of sight, but uh, quite amazing how much healing can be done here. That's quite complex to play. Let's do a suppression again. So when it suppresses, you can suppress uh, everything within a certain radius. So, oops, oops, suppression. Okay, and, and then you can't forget to use a weapon, like I forgot to use a weapon. So I keep watching uh, who needs your healing. I keep, uh, keep on top of that, and that might be too far away. Nope, that looks like it was too far away. It's a floating, but it doesn't fly as high as Yao Ming. Nope, that's too far away as well, and it wastes uh, a heal. Presumably, it might even heal itself each time you press that. Let's see if we can heal this is too far. No, it feel appears to be too far. Uh, so its movement is uh, somewhat slow. Suppress, and I can fire and suppress. Unlike the Unlike the uh, thing, yeah. So long cooldown and suppression. So it happens when I heal. Oh, so it heals me as well. See? Each time I press that, even if I don't heal somebody else, it heals me. But I have no active module, so I can't use quantum radar. Heal, heal myself. 
Bring myself again. Strike it as a question. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching.